Hey guys, what's up? It's your girl Justin. Welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, I'm going to be doing another meal prep with me style video. On the menu this week, we are making turkey chili. The best turkey chili, if I do say so myself. This meal is gonna be four points. Um, the chili itself is only two per serving, and then we're gonna add some toppings, which is gonna round it up to four. But yeah, this is pretty much gonna be just a simple and easy meal to make. This recipe that I'm gonna share is pretty much a combination of like three other recipes that I've tried thus far, but I've like kind of taken from each different one and kind of made it my own. And by far, this is the best chili that I've ever had. And I couldn't wait to make it again to share it with you guys so if you would like to stay tuned and find out how i made it then please just keep on watching all right so starting off here are all of our ingredients right here we have some 99 percent fat-free ground turkey breast um one onion we have some hidden valley ranch uh salad dressing and seasoning mix and then over here we have a can of fat-free refried beans, um, black beans, pinto beans. We have two cans of corn and then we have some diced tomatoes as well as just some tomato sauce. And then to go as a topping for the chili, we're just going to use some fat-free cheddar cheese as well as some daisy light sour cream. Alright, so starting out we're going to go ahead and chop up our onion. So um, we're only using half of this onion, I forgot. I mentioned that all right so I'm gonna go ahead and cut this in half just doing like this and I'm gonna cut this part off right here then from here I'm gonna cut this into four parts just across like that and over like that. Then I'm going to take my handy dandy chopping thingy. Um, I'm not exactly sure what this is called, but I will leave the link for it down below in the description in case you guys want to get you one. So taking just one fourth by a time, I'm just going to kind of leave it here and let the chopping do the work. Sometimes it doesn't get these big pieces for some reason, so I'll kind of just go back in. Do this a little bit of my own. Alright, so y'all can't see this, but I'm going to go ahead and spray my skillet with some Pam spray and go ahead and get these cooking. Alright, so it's been a few minutes and now we're going to go ahead and add the meat. Alright, so right now I'm just going to kind of keep my eye on it, stir it every now and then. Um, but we're going to go ahead and start putting everything else into the crock pot. Alright, so this is a crock pot I will be using, just a regular crock pot I got it from Walmart. Um, so let's go ahead and start adding all the ingredients. We can go ahead and start with the tomato sauce. So I'm just gonna pop that open. And our diced tomatoes. And now for our black beans, I did um, open this and kind of drain the excess off of the top because we don't want all of that. Also gonna do the same thing with the pinto beans. Right in there. Literally guys, this is 
such an easy recipe to make. So now for my corn, I also um, just drain this over the sink as well. So for me, I use two cans of corn and that is personal preference. None of the recipes called for two cans of corn. That's something I wanted to do for myself because I wanted a lot of corn with every single bite. If you are not like that into corn like I am, then maybe not so much, but um, yeah, two cans made it so bomb. All right, so before I put in the refried beans, I'm gonna go ahead and start stirring this up because um, refried beans kinda like merge it all together, but I want this to go ahead and start mixing and stuff. Just the smell, you guys, it's not even on yet, but like, I don't know, it already has like a smell of home cooking. All right, so now for the refried beans, um, I did have to pull out a spoon for this. Covering the screen. So I know this probably seems so weird because I, I thought it was weird. I was like, refried beans and chili? What is that gonna do? But in my opinion, this honestly is like one of the most important ingredients because this kind of serves as the filling to the entire thing like you can just totally tell like I, I don't know it's really hard to explain but it tastes good like don't knock it before you try it because i i thought it was weird at first too but literally like the refried beans made such a big difference and i think that's why i ended up liking this recipe so much so since it was kind of chunky i'm Kind of going it into it and chopping it up as I'm mixing it in. So I don't know if you guys can tell on camera, but it's already such like a big texture difference adding the refried beans. It just kind of like merges everything together and it goes from instead of it just being like 10 different ingredients in one bowl, it becomes a meal, like it becomes chili. All right, so now at this point, the meat is done. So I'm about to go ahead and add that on in there. And we're gonna start mixing that in as well. So you can already kind of see, but this recipe makes so much chili. It makes a lot. Um, honestly, it, was, it took me a while to eat the entire batch. I think I was munching on it for probably two and a half weeks, um, not eating it every single day. Um, I think the first week I did eat it pretty much every single day because I had meal prepped it. But then after it, I would probably eat it like once every other day or every two days. So yeah, this makes a lot. So if, ooh, I'm flicking stuff. If you, um, if you have a big family, this is like, you don't even like have to treat this as like a meal prep. Um, that's just what I'm doing because I'm a single person. But if you have a family, this will be a great thing that you could put on in the morning and then have it running all day. And then you have an easy dinner already made by the end of your night. Or if you're maybe having like a dinner party or a potluck, I don't know. This, this just makes a lot of food. So um, for me, I'm doing it as meal prep, but you can also just do it as a that's just a big old meal. All right, so before we add our seasoning, I totally forgot, but we are gonna add one cup of water up here. And last but not least, we're gonna go ahead and add the ranch seasoning. We are adding the entire package to this. So this would be the time for you to add any other seasonings um, if you like it to be more spicy um, you would put I don't know pepper or whatever I'm not a big seasoning person to be honest um, I don't like things spicy and um, that's actually a big problem that I had in the beginning with some of the chili recipes I tried I liked it but it was just a little too hot for me um, but this is perfect so just kind of do what you want at your discretion. 
Alright guys, so that is pretty much it. Here's a close-up of kind of what it all looks like. Um, I am going to be cooking this on low heat for eight hours while I am sleeping. Yeah, you can do this in the pot, like a pot on the stove, but I'm just not sure how that would work with cooking and stuff. You would probably just need to hover it more and um, keep a closer eye on it. But what I love about this crock pot is you can literally just put something on and go to sleep, go to work, like go run errands. And then by the time you come back, you have a whole meal. So I'm gonna let this go all night or I mean all day. And um, yeah, I will catch you guys back once it is done. All right guys, I am just now getting up. It has been going for actually nine hours now. Um, I kind of stayed in the bed for a while. So um, at some point while I was sleeping, I did wake up to use the bathroom and I did stir it once so that it wouldn't be too unevenly cooked throughout. But here is just a closer look of the final, ooh, the final product. Steam got it. Let me leave it back here. So this is more closer look. Um, this is what it looks like, y'all. It's really, really good. You can see like the filling in there. That's what I was talking about with the refried beans, how it just kind of, I don't know, makes it all gel very well together. So I'm gonna um, let this kind of cool down a bit while I start getting dressed and stuff. And then I will come back later on to start plating it. So guys, it is actually the next day. By the time I got out of the shower and started getting ready and stuff, it was just cutting it way, way too close. Like my camera had died. I was trying to rush and get ready. And it just didn't make sense because I didn't want to be too, too late for work. And I also didn't want to rush through this video. So basically what I did, I just took the entire crock pot and once it cooled off completely, I put it into the fridge, um, like the stoneware part of it. And I was like, okay, I just got to go to work and I'll do the rest um, whenever I get off. So that is what I'm doing now. Just got off of work. It is now like 8 a.m. I started this 8 a.m. yesterday. Um, the chili has been in the fridge. It's been chilling, chilling chili chili yeah all night and actually that's gonna work to my advantage when it comes to plating this um you'll see why in a minute but just wanted to update you guys on what's going on but um have my toe wear over there and right now we will start plating everything so really quick before we get started with that let's go ahead and talk about smart points i looked over the footage and i realized that before i said that the chili was two points but i was mistaken it's actually only one point whenever i put it into the recipe builder i put the serving size as 10. so depending on the serving size is going to be like how many smart points it is for you but i did the math and basically if you use one to four servings it will be two smart points if you use five to 12 servings it will be one smart point and if you divvy this out into 13 plus it will be zero smart points so it depends on what you decide to do so like i said i am doing 10 and basically i have five containers here i'm going to go ahead and prep five of the meals right now and what i'm going to do i'm going to freeze the other five so i'm freezing half of this because like i said before this chili made enough for me to be eating off of for two weeks and although that's good and everything i personally just don't want to do that again because you know you don't want to be eating the same thing for a month straight because it's going to make me burn out of it and i'm not going to want it anymore so that's what i'm doing freezing half of this meal prepping half of it i'm gonna have that for the rest of my work week and um yeah so whenever i feel like having it again i'll just take it out of the um freezer thaw it and meal prep it again and literally this is like making me two weeks worth of food all right so let's go ahead and get started fyi um chili does stain your tubbleware these over here are completely clean but as you can tell they are stained and honestly i don't know any other way around it um, I ended up, I had to get new Tupperware anyway, so these are new and you can see they're very fresh and clean looking and these look kind of dingy, but the tomato sauce, anything with tomatoes is going to stain. All right, it's all chilled, but I'm going to give it a quick stir. So since this is chilled, it's actually going to help me because before I was going to have to measure it, but now I'm going to just eyeball it and see. So I know you guys can't see, but I'm kind of just going to cut a line in the chili right there. Here, let me get my phone so y'all can see what I'm doing. All right, so I kind of just made a line and I'm pushing 
it back so this is the part that i'm gonna um freeze and this is the part that i'm about to divvy out right now so i'm gonna go ahead and put the part that i'm freezing into this ziploc bag don't take what i just said with the smart points and have the mentality that like wow i can have a fourth of that pot and it's only two points like that's a really good deal like no i was just saying that so you could know the math part of it but nobody should be eating a fourth or less worth of this pot that is entirely way too much food at for one serving size at one time please do not do that thinking that it's okay because it's low smart points because even though it is low smart points you still have to use common sense and you can't do something like that and then wonder why you gain weight at the end of the week all right so this i'm going to freeze it and then whenever i feel like having chili again all i have to do is thaw it out and prep it all right so now for the remainder i'm gonna get out my phone again so you can see i'm gonna kind of just do this eyeballing it so i'm gonna make it kind of flat and even and then i'm going to divvy it up into five so yeah you could um try to like measure this and do all that but honestly you can just use your god-given eyes and try to finesse All right, so I kind of made like a little star shade. That is my five sections. I'm gonna go ahead and put them in the tubbleware. And then if I get them in the tubbleware and I notice one's bigger, like this looks like a big piece, I'll just put some of that like into the other ones. Like, you know, it's common sense. All right, so here is what it all looks like after it's been divvied out. I actually didn't need to do a lot of transferring and stuff. Um, I kind of eyeballed it pretty well. So that's about it for the chili. Um, I'm just gonna let it chill out here while I do all the rest of the stuff with all the toppings. All right, so now for the toppings. I am going to be topping my chili with some fat-free cheddar cheese as well as some sour cream, some light sour cream. If you watched my taco salad meal prep video, you already know the drill. You already know what we're about to do. I'm pretty much doing the exact same method. I'm going to be using these little sauce container cups. I have some mini cups and some snack cups. So pretty much the exact same thing. The only thing I am changing is the quantity. So since the turkey chili itself is so low in points, it's only one point per serving, um, I'm actually going to have more of my topping and enjoy it a little bit more because I have the points to work with. So we're gonna be using two tablespoons of the sour cream as opposed to one and a half. So two tablespoons for two points. And then for the cheese, I'm going to be using a third cup rather than a fourth cup. So um, this is gonna be one point as well. So I think that's why I gotten confused earlier on whenever I had made the mistake about the chili. But altogether, this is gonna be four points. Go ahead and start with that. We're gonna need five of these. And then I have my third cup measuring cup and we're gonna go ahead and start putting these in there. All right, so we have a third cup. I'm gonna just put it in there. Now all I'm gonna do is just try to match that with each one. So now just looking at it, I'm actually gonna add a little bit more um, just because I kinda, whenever I was eating it, I kinda like, reapply the cheese as I was eating it like I would warm up my chili I would add like the first layer of cheese let that melt eat it and then add a second layer of cheese onto it 
And as far as points, you can have, um, I know at least a half a cup and it's still one point. Plus I just like cheese. So <laughs> I always feel like I have to defend myself for people who are gonna like come after me. But at the end of the day, I like cheese. So I'm gonna have more cheese. So there we have it, our five little things of cheese. Gonna go ahead and put them to the side. And now for the sour cream. So I'm gonna go in with my mini cups. So yes, this can get quite messy, but me personally, I would rather go ahead and get messy all at one time meal prepping it rather than trying to do this every single day when I'm trying to pack my lunch or whatever. So now we have our five things of sour cream along with our five things of cheese. Doesn't this just look aesthetically pleasing? And in case you were wondering, yes, you still can do the little hack. Putting it in here, since it is more cheese, you kind of have to like press down on it like a little bit and the cheese may get a little smushed, but if you don't know what I'm talking about, basically just to save room in your lunchbox or whatever, you're gonna put the sauce container of sour cream into the sauce container with the cheese. All right, so we have our five little topping options. You can definitely use more toppings. Um, these are just the ones I prefer. What I really like about having low point meals like this chili is since it is so low, you can afford to go higher with the toppings or higher with the side. Um, I'm not having a side for this just cause it kind of stands alone as it is for me. But if you wanted to pair it up with something else, you can do that because you have the points for it. All right guys, so this is the final product. You know, I had to be extra and create a whole foodscape, but um, we have our chili our cheeses, our sour creams. But yeah, like I said before, all together, this will be a four point meal. One for the chili, one for the cheese, and two for the sour cream. I'm gonna go ahead and put up like a screenshot or a recording of what it looks like in the recipe builder. But yeah, you guys, I really hope that you enjoyed this video. Um, if you're liking meal prep videos like this, let me know down below in the comments and I will do more of them. And also if you have any suggestions for me to try out and then potentially I will film them here on YouTube, just let me know down below in the comments and then I will be looking through all of those. But yeah, you guys, this pretty much concludes this video. If you enjoyed it, please make sure to give it a big thumbs up. And as always, don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. Join me on this journey, and I will catch you in my next video. Bye, guys.